Hi there folks, welcome back to another video in this Battleship tutorial series or walkthrough. Um, in the last video we created and finished off the ship class and the guns class, um, as well as the functionality for those classes as in putting the ships on the screen, snapping them to the grids, um, dealing with the ships if they were off the grid, rotating the ships, um, making sure that the ships were not colliding with any of the other ships. Um, so that was the last video, in this video we're just going to uh, add a few additional functions um, just to deal with handling the computer ships, make sure the computer ships get loaded onto the screen and added to the computer grid. Um, so let's to get on with that, we're going to go to our utility functions and we're going to create a function um, right here underneath the sort fleet function. We're going to do and then we're going to say randomize ship locations. Let's call it ship locations. And to do this, we'll need to pass it the ship list and we'll need to pass it the game grid. So, to which game grid we're going to be calling this function. Okay, so a little description for the function select random locations of the game grid. This one is a little bit of a quick uh, one, so we're going to start off with. So we're going to start off by creating a placed ships list, which will be empty for now. Placed ships, and then we're going to go for I ship in enumerate ship list. Right. So for ship in ship list. position. Alright. And we're going to rotate. And we're going to create a little variable here. It's called rotate to ship. And that will be random dot choice. And the choice will be either true or false. And I call and we're importing the random module back here. If rotate ship is equal to uh, true, y axis will be equal to random dot and int zero and nine. X axis will be equal to random dot and int zero nine minus Fifty 
it's at uh, equal to int zero and nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shift the direct top left equal to gain red y axis x axis Then we need to do a check. If length of placed ships is greater than zero, there is a ship in there. Okay. Item in placed ships. If ship direct dot collide rate with uh, item direct. So how this function works is we are going to take our ship list and name it, and then our placed ships will then go to a for loop from our ship list, and then we'll do a while loop. First we return all our ships to default positions, and then the rotate ship will randomly choose if it must be rotated or not. If the rotation is true, we'll randomly select the X and Y coordinate cell, then ship will rotate the ship, we'll rotate the ship. Shift direct on top left will be the y axis, x axis, or this on the cells. Okay, we we'll to check to see if this function works. For our computer fleet, we now need to create a fleet. And then for our C fleet, we actually need to maximize the positions of our computer fleet. So let's do that now. You can see. Ship positions and it will be the computer fleet and it will be my computer deck. Now, in order to see if this is working or not, we actually need to draw the computer ships to the screen. So, here under my update game screen, over here underneath the ship P fleet, I have to draw a ship in computer fleet. Ships drawn to the screen. And uh, 9, 291, we have an error. 291 is so the XX random the random it. Ship.h image rect dot get width. Of course, guys, you can't get the get width from the rectangle has to be the image itself. So if we go ahead and try it one more time, we are having a problem. So we need to 
close the program, we run into an error, which we need to do, it seems like. Uh, So what we had done wrong there is a simple spacing error, indentation error of our placed ships, where our placed ships should be. It was included in our while loop, so it didn't matter with all the checks we were doing, or at the end of the, all the checks, we were still appending the ship to the placed ships list uh, as it should have been. Just included outside of the while loop, the while loop to there. So now every time we run the program, computer ships are placed onto the game board as you can see at the moment. Great, that took quite a lot more time than I thought it would. It's getting fairly late here on me. I'm off to bed and I will see you in my